crystal shaper and you've done the tutorial and so you should know your way around it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to actually draw a bottle in shaper and then I'm going to turn it into a water rocket and then after that in another video perhaps I'm going to show you how to do an analysis on it uh, to see if it's aerodynamic and things like that. So we're just going to go to new design and I'm going to just check that that says one millimeter. And I'm just going to have a look at the front view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw half a bottle and revolve it around the middle. So I'm going to press sketch. And we'll start by just drawing the radius. So uh, the radius of that bottle, I'm going to do a line. And the bottle is uh, 80 um, millimeters, so 8 centimeters. So the radius of that would be 40, press return, press return again. Okay, well, I know that it's not actually a, f a flat bottom. Um, it is slightly curved, so I'm gonna take the arc tool now, and I'm just gonna come up three mil, and I'm gonna come to about there, and I'm just going to do uh, that curve, okay? And now I know that it rounds up here, so again, I'm going to go arc tool here, to about there, and just round that off. And then press escape when you're done. And I'm actually going to select that line and delete it, so that now I know that I've got this line here. Okay, so that's the, the base of the bottle. Now, uh, the bottle I've got is a 1.5 litres, which is um, 30 three centimeters so 330 mil uh, uh, millimeters all the way up to the top so I'm going to take this line and I'm going to actually start all the way at the bottom there and I'm going to go up 330 and just press return and return twice so that is the top so it's quite a long bottle that one. and that's the top of the bottle now the bottle uh, the neck so that is the opening of the bottle is two and a half centimeters so 25 millimeters so because we're drawing from the middle I'm going to come out and I'm going to go 12.5 mil okay so that is the opening of the bottle and then it comes down 20 so it comes down 20 okay let's zoom out a bit now, the neck of the bottle has actually got a little lip on it. You don't need to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm drawing a bottle. And that comes out 5 mil. And just copy 5. Press return twice. And now it comes down 1 millimeter. So I'm type in 1. Like that. And so all you're doing really is just following the outside of the bottle shape to create the profile. And when you finish, you've done that. All right, well, that's the top and that's the base. Now, along the way, it goes up and then it curves in and then it comes up and then it goes round. So I'm actually going to do that now. So I'm just going to draw a line that goes all the way from here to here. It's actually about 12, so 120 mil. And then that line actually um, starts to come in. So if I do an arc, and then just come in, and then the line starts up again. And then there's a big arc there. Now I can either do an arc or I can do a spline. So I wanted to try a spline. The spline's going to go here. And then what that does is it just follows the profile of my dots. And press return when they all know that was wrong. So let's do that again. So we start here, go there, come out slightly and then in 
and bring it out and then I'm going to press escape. Alright, now you can actually make modifications, so I'm just going to press that escape one more time and just, that's a bit weird, I'm just going to move that out a little bit, oh my word, what have I done? It's very strange now, let's move that to one point out. Oh, that'll be okay. Alright, so that is the bottle. Now, once we finish that, we're going to close it. If you've done it right, it will go blue. If you've done it wrong, it won't go blue. And it also means that there's something in the way. There's maybe a, a hole there or an overlapping line. Okay, we're going to go to Tools. We're going to go to Revolve. We're going to revolve this around that line. Wow, look at that. There's the bottle. And done. Okay, so that is the bottle. It's not hollow. You can make it hollow if you want. You probably want to charge your computer or have it plugged in, but let's show you what happened. So for this one, I'm actually going to make this, um, to, to visualize it, I'm just going to make it um, a clear uh, plastic. So for this, I'll just choose polypropylene, even though we know it's PET. And I'm just taking that and I'm dragging it over. Now already, uh, my computer is starting to slow down a bit. Okay, and then the next one is the tools, and we're going to shell. So you see the shell? That makes it hollow. Now the face we want to remove is the top, obviously, otherwise you can't get the uh, drink out. So we just click that, and I'll say that it is 0.5 millimeters thick, even though it probably isn't, and we'll press enter. So once we've done that, you'll now see that is now hollow and that is the bottle you've done the bottle well done okay well I guess the next thing is to do to turn it upside down now to turn it upside down you select the part so select, uh, select that as soon as you select it it knows you want to move it so you can take that and just um, drag it around 180 degrees press return and press return and you see that sketch plane well that's that little thing here well we can get rid of that or hide it for a bit okay so there's the bottle so I guess the next part is to start designing the fins well I think the best way is to draw the fins away from the bottle and then move them in but you might not want to um, so what I'm going to do is staying with the front view I'm actually going to draw one uh, fin uh, so I can use this for reference so if I go there there and bring it up like that and I'm going to do there and just keep it in line and there bring that up like that and I'm going to press return sorry press escape now that's a bit sharp and if it falls down I don't really want it to um, hit on my head so I might need to do something about that um, later right the next part is well I do want this uh, this shape to come through so I don't really want this to be uh, flat because that wouldn't work so for now what I will do is I will just do a straight line and then I'll show you what can be done later okay okay if I'm happy with that fin I can now press close now with this one you're not going to rotate it, obviously. What you're going to do is you're going to extrude it. If you click Tools and Extrude there, you will also be able to do the same as simply clicking in the middle. Now, I'm going to make that out of cardboard, and cardboard's about 3 to 5 mil thick. I'll try and get the thinnest one, so I'm just going to type in 3. And press Enter and there's my fin. Okay, well first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to round uh, that point off. So, tools again. Zoom in. And what we can do, stuff in there, chamfer fill it. Click that one. Select that line. Now if I bring it out, I'll push it in. So if I push it in, it cuts it. 
got to call a chamfer bit. If I pull it out, it rounds it. I'm just going to round that a little bit. Press enter. Okay. Now I did promise you that I was going to show you how to make that profile cut out. So we're going to move this and we are going to slide it into the right place exactly where I want it. Okay, I'm going to make mine a little bit more challenging. So I'm going to take mine, put it here, and shift it all the way in like that. Okay, and press enter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and use it to cut this. So watch. I go tools. I go subtract. The thing I want to subtract from is that. That's the first thing I click. The thing I want to subtract with is that. Okay, um, I want to keep the original, because if I don't keep the original, then I'm going to lose the bottle that I've just done. So I'm going to say keep all, just in case, and then go done. All right, so um, if I hide my bottle, you can see there's a weird line there. That's what the bottle's done, it's cut it. So that's the original one. That's the part that it cut. Well, we don't want that, so if I click this, um, and just delete that and that is the new fin we'll hide that hide that we've just got to get our bearings we want to keep the bottle so we'll keep that we don't need that anymore because that was the old one so I'm going to delete it now I've got the new fin and I've got the bottle well how many fins do I need well I need I think I would like three, but some people like four, and some people thought five or six or two or whatever. So, done my fin, and now I need to copy it. Uh, the most important part that I've just realized is you've got to get into the right view. So if we just look at the top view, because I want to rotate these around that view. So now what I do is I'm going to select the fin, I'm going to select pattern, and if it says uh, linear, then just um, click on that word. And we're going to go to make sure it says spacing angle. And we're going to just click that center line. And we're going to say 120. Now 120 should give you uh, the angle. So obviously 90 would be 4, 180 would be 2. Then you've done that. Okay, so now I've actually got my fins sorted out. Well, I guess it's time for the cone. Now the cone is pretty much exactly the same as the bottle. You draw the profile and then you revolve it. So let's start. So what I'm going to do, remember, you've got to get into the right viewpoint first. So I'm going to click front, and click sketch. And for this one, I draw my line. I'm going to draw it slightly off, so up. And up now, try not to make it too sharp because that uh, is asking for trouble. So we're going to go, sorry, we're going to go as you go, a line tool here, click there, and click there. And I'm not going to make it a point, I'm actually going to make it an arc that goes from there to there. And it looks like that. I'll just trim that top part off. That should be all right. All right, and then close that. You can rotate it and then shell it. Revolve that one around that one. Done. Let's move that. Now, the bottle's in the way, let's say, so I can always hide that bottle. And then we're just going to go tools and hollow that out. So that was shell. We'll just take that out and we'll make that 2 mil because we actually need to print it. Okay, and done. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring that bottle back. I can hide all my sketches because I don't need those anymore. And then I'm going to take that body six, that last one, just click it and bring that down so that it is on top. And that is my water rocket. Now you've got, if you've got time and energy, you can always make it nice. You saw how I made that um, like glass or see-through. So I can make these uh, fins nice and shiny.